Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to um, paint um, upholstered chair, so the fabric with any Sloan uh, chalk paint. It is quite very simple. I've tried it on a cushion. I actually haven't done it on the whole um, chair but I really like the result on a cushion so I thought I was gonna try it on my chair. I have this chair that I've had for almost 20 years now and it's still in a really good condition but the fabric is very dirty because <laughs> it's white and I've had two small children grow up with it type of thing so um, I wanted to uh, kind of spruce it up without actually upholstering it. So I did some research, watched some videos and things like that so I decided to give it a try. So I tried it on a cushion, um, liked the result. The only thing I didn't like is I had actually waxed the cushion after I was done painting it and it kind of gave it a leathery uh, feel, which is okay. It's just not something that I was looking for. So then I did more research and they said that if you don't want that look, just don't wax it. So I'm going to get started. So first thing you want to do is... Um, is uh, vacuum the chair up so that there's no dust or dirt on it. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. So the materials that I'm using is the Annie Sloan Chalk Paint French Linen. I have water, a brush, and just a knife to open up the paint. So before you start painting, you want to make sure that the area that you're painting is nice and wet. This will help um, the paint uh, be absorbed into the material because if you just put it on top it's just gonna sit on top without it being wet I mean it's just gonna sit on top it's not gonna soak in so I'm gonna work on this section first painting the legs as well so I'm not too careful about um, getting the paint on them but if you were to get some paint on it you can just take a damp cloth and it will uh, remove it right off
So now I have completed the whole chair and I'm going to let it dry and then once it's dry I'm going to look around and see if there's any spots that I missed and I still have to do the other side of the cushion. So I'll show you all that once I do the second coat. So for the second coat, I'm not actually going to apply full second coat. I'm just going to go kind of over it and see where there might be a need for another, a little bit of um, paint. Because it looks like I did a pretty good job at covering most of it. Okay, so I think it's done now and I'm gonna let it dry completely and then I'll show you the finished product. So here is the finished pro product. I am quite happy with it. It uh, turned out quite nice. I like how the, the flowers got almost like accented out a little bit and um, the paint does not come off. I tested it by sitting on it. So um, we'll see how it holds out. For durability purposes, according to all my research, it says it's pretty durable. And it was just a nice way to um, reuse this chair, uh, upcycle it, I guess, instead of going out and buying a new one. I do like the style of it. Um, it is a very comfortable chair. Um, so I'm glad that I found an way, uh, inexpensive way to, uh, to uh, spruce it up. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to uh, subscribe, stick around and see all the other stuff that I'm going to be posting. And if you like organization furniture, painting, cooking, um, really anything, then this is the channel for you. Well, once again, thanks so much for stopping by and until next time, have a wonderful day.